This is a video review of Toba Athlon Rocky. Um, I don't know if that's a Rocky Balboa reference. Um, I don't know how I would know either. Um, but anyway, this is the um, third and final figure of the uh, second wave of the Toba Athlon line. And this guy has some really neat stuff and some really dumb stuff. Now, first off, his uh, robot mode is a... Um, I don't know my construction equipment very well, but it's a... Um, a um, power shovel thing, uh, I, I, an, an excavator, that, that's what he is, he's an excavator. And I really like him because he, and I really like this mode, uh, because it's big, it's chunky, it's bright yellow, it just, it, it looks great. It looks like a, just a mean thing, and it almost looks like it doesn't transform except uh, visible head syndrome. You can kind of see his transformation down here, but just by itself in this mode, it's actually really quite nice. Um, I do have a problem with uh, this because it likes to come off kind of easy and it like just wibbles all over the place. Um, but it does have uh, the shovel does have some really nice ratchets in here with some good detents. Same up here and same down here. Well, it's not ratcheted down here, but it just has good motion in it. Um, and he doesn't roll super well. He just has these little tiny casters. Um, I wouldn't expect those to, well, to roll super well either. And because he's not a car, it's not that big of a deal. Just that he does roll is, is nice. He also has a little minecore thing. And actually, I like this guy's minecore gimmick a lot half of the way. Uh, so if you look back here, you can see this little part at the back of the uh, excavator that's kind of up. And the reason why is because it's spring loaded. And there's a button down here that will open this, which is where the minecore is supposed to go. And so the idea is, if you want to access the mine core, you press this down, and then you get it. But I don't know why they didn't just put a button down here that, like, okay, I can press this button, it'll come out. Instead, they had to ruin the back of the sculpt of the of my favorite mode of the figure, and it's just like, I, I, I don't get it. So anyway, you push that in, he has his mine core. Um, to begin the transformation, unfortunately, there's some parts where you gotta take this off. You don't have to, but it's weird if you leave it on. I'll show you when we get there. Um, next, you'll take this little shovel bit in the front. You'll bend these down like this. Then you'll untab the treads here. Like that. And like that. You'll bring the arms out. And I'll just uh, push them out to the side here for now. And then we're going to come down to the legs. And I like how the legs work. Well, the way the legs work is you pop this out, and down here's this leg. And for the other leg, um, it doesn't bend, it just comes down like this, and then you fold out a foot. And I really like how he has asymmetrical feet that, um, I, I don't know if they're exactly the same length, but for, for the most part, they look like they're the same length. They just look, they're um, a little bit different. And, and I, I, I like how the legs work down there. Now for the arms, um, the arms are weird, uh, basically because they're already done. It's just that the arms are straight. If you want to get access to the arms, you just got to pull them out here. Then, oh, look. He also has curling iron arms, and I don't like that. And so, this is his robot mode without the excavator attached. And I like the look of it. I wish the transformation were a bit more complex. And I wish that his... Um, arms are a little bit different like I didn't mind that uh, Vulcan had some extra stuff hanging off his arms around the elbow but it, it's way way uh, uh, Rocky does it way way too much I could have let him get away with like down to here but down to here is just a bit too much and I really wish they hadn't gone for the curling iron arms because they could have done um, uh, just a normal fist just just as easily in the uh, space they had down there but they decided to do it like this um, and also this is really loose which bugs me but oh well and so it's just the arms are just really weird. Um, mine also has a um, defect in it where, okay, so this ratchet. You can hear the ratchet in it. You can uh, sort of see the detents on it when it moves. This one, it has detents on it, but they're not, it's like every time I move it, the detents move to a different place and they're not as strong as on the other side. And so that the arms are asymmetrical, like I don't think it's gonna break or anything. Like it, I imagine it's already broken in there, but I don't think it's gonna break worse. And it's like, he can hold poses just fine, but it's annoying that it happens there at all. Um, and so the arms are just kind of weird. I wish they could go out a little bit more. Um, they go around just fine, uh, but like, they go in this much, and if they go in this much, then they're bumping against the legs, which kind of sucks. So you're just gonna leave them out here the entire time. Excuse me. And they're never gonna go out more than that. Oh, excuse me. And so the arms are just kind of a wash. You can't really do anything with them. Like, this is as much of a pose as you can get out of them, which sucks. The legs are a little bit better, because like they have, um, 
nice ratchets like this guy. He wobbles a little bit, but he's nowhere near as bad as uh, Hurricane was. Um, the legs go in and out here. Um, he's got a nice standing foot on this leg. Not so much on this leg, just because like his instep is not flat all the way down, but it's, you have one good leg and like that's better than nothing. So you can get some poses out of his legs. I wish he, again, I wish he had a thigh swivel. I don't know why Young Toys refuses to put th uh, thigh swivels on things, but oh well. Um, now the thing that really bugs me about this guy is that your best, uh, your best bet is to just leave this off. Because like, okay, so we put this on into the uh, excavator remote position and he just has a giant hook coming out of his leg. Which, I mean, I, I guess I can see the appeal. It does look interesting, but it's, um, honestly, I, I I wouldn't leave him like that because it, it doesn't look good. It's more like, look at what this crazy guy can do. Now let's play with him as a normal toy. What you're actually supposed to do is attach it up here, and it's not clear how you're supposed to orient this, and this will always bump into it if you try and move the arm and knock it off, and it just doesn't stay attached very well anyway, uh, to the point where trying to uh, move the arm at all will make it come out. And so like just, this does not work very well. And so that, that's kind of a shame. Um, I, I don't like it going over his shoulder like that either. Um, going over the back would have been a little bit nicer, I think, just because it would have been symmetrical. Um, it, it's okay, it's just not, it's not quite my taste. Um, I mean, I, I know I praise the legs for being asymmetrical, but this just seems like uh, we, we, this is the most convenient place to put it, we don't care. Uh, so anyway, this is Tobot Rocky. I really, really want to like this guy because I love his excavator mode. I think his robot mode looks pretty cool without this thing. He just has so many problems with his execution. And I know some of them are just on mine, but his his execution is just all over the place. Like, I complained about um, Tobot Athlon Theta for having some small, ba basically small beans problems that uh, just really bummed me out. This guy has some really big problems with him. And so, like, he is, um, in concept, really great. He could have been a little bit better with a bit more involved transformation, but he's just he, he doesn't he doesn't really work He he's not as bad as hurricane in that like he does have some thought put into his design, but th There's no reason to get this so, so anyway I review Power Rangers Transformers Digimon uh, Tobots Carbots uh, lots of stuff like that. If any of that sounds interesting. Please subscribe and thank you for watching